to. And I want to get into the Chicago basketball scene. I want to talk a little bit about that because uh, when I first, you know, outside of the DePaul experience, I really saw you rocking and getting down at IIT. Yeah, that's when Paul McPherson made the name for himself. You know, that's when you became the household name. Talk about, because a lot of people, and I've been fortunate enough, um, I travel a lot um, just for different things. I also participate in fantasy camps. So I play against a lot of, co- a lot of ex-athletes, a lot of uh, high-level coaches and things like that. So I travel. So I get a chance to see different cities. I've had a chance to go to the Rucker to see what that experience is like. But people don't really understand what Chicago's IIT program was like, man. Talk about what that was like. That's when I was like, who is this dude? And why does he have look like he has two seedless watermelons on the back of his legs? Because I'm looking at your calves jumping out the gym. I'm like, he has two seedless watermelons on the back of his legs, man. Talk about how it's Man, they said it looked like my legs swallowed two light bulbs. Like, man, it was so <laughs> two light bulbs. It was so many jokes and things people had, but just to speak on IIT really quick, man, that was that was that was the mecca for me. The NBA wasn't the mecca for me. That yeah. was that was my NBA. Like, yeah, I got a chance before IIT to see games at Chicago State when I was really really little. Michael Jordan, Mitchell Anderson, Reggie Theus, some of those guys. I watched those guys in 1987, 86 the year Jordan broke his foot. So I was a baby. I didn't know what I was watching, but I knew it was an event. So fast forward to the program before IIT, which was De La Salle. De La Salle, yep. Right before IIT, they had the program at De La Salle. And now I'm a, a baby teen. I'm a tot now. I'm, I'm in the midst of Tim Hardaway, Juwan Howard, a young Antoine Walker. So by the time it got to IIT, I was coming out of high school. It was, it was my time. All I wanted to do was get to IIT and show the city that I could do anything I wanted to do. And at the time, it wasn't, it was only two high school players playing at IIT, Ronnie Fields and Michael Herman. Mike, yep. So once I became the third one, I knew the pressure was on, you know what I'm saying? And in my first game, I can remember it like it was yesterday. I played against Michael Finley. I had 18 points. I came off the bench, had a couple of <laughs> I was like, I made it. Like, I felt like if you can go to IIT and get that what, what, anybody from yes, sir. know that when that starts up, that means it's time to go. So somebody will come down and score on somebody and do a nice move, and then the other person come back and score, that's when the what would come in. So yes, the sir. Whole, the whole gym would be buzzing. What, what, what? Yeah. As you're bringing the ball up the court, like, you could just feel, bro, it felt like I was floating. Like, I swear it felt like I didn't have legs, like I was just floating. And once I started to just maneuver and find my niche and, and people started to know me, man, it was over, bro. Like IIT was it for me. I didn't want to, I, I could have not went to the NBA and played the IIT the rest of my life and would have been straight, bro. Like that was my mecca. I got to see Antoine Walker, Juwan Howard. I can name off the top of my head probably 10 pros that came every weekend and played. Harper, Ron Harper, Randy Brown, Pete Myers, Antoine Walker, Jawan Howard, Michael Finley, Tim Hardaway, pros who wasn't pros like Michael Herman, Brian Leach, just guys, Donald Whiteside, just yes, so sir. many, so many people that I got to see and play against, bro. Like, just to, if if you could get mentioned in the group with them people, I felt like I was cool, like I was straight, like, and and I had some some crazy games or some crazy events take place at IIT and that was that kind of helped me like solidify who I was and, and and put myself on the map like as far as like you know the big picture of Chicago basketball so we're gonna